Last week was very tough and spent a lot of time sleeping and just very down and lots of nerve symptoms. So today finally kind of went back up again. I was definitely ready for that. Every day we can get now with my mom and my dog to go for a bike ride. Uh, except for maybe like, I think one day I didn't go. That was because we went and did something else. And even if I just do a little short bike ride, I'm still trying to just get out every day. So it's nice to get out in the fresh air and getting out of the house and making me feel better. Whereas before I couldn't, if I got out of the house, I would feel worse because I would be <laughs> all symptomatic from all the noises and everything. Just made it about an hour and a half at Kohl's. That's amazing. I would never have been able to do that. And we went on a bike ride this morning and I chatted with somebody about their Lyme journey for at least an hour, I would think, this morning. I'm very done now. I was getting pretty good neuropathy going on at the end there and having trouble seeing um, my vision was all over the place again but I made it through that. I'm not ready to go crawl back into a quiet place without a lot of motion. There's a freeway right across here and uh, the noise is getting me in. but I am so happy that I was able to get this far. I've been wearing the same soft fluffy hoodie now for the past five or six years. Got it at Walmart. Since I don't shop, I finally got a new one. I also got some new, well, much needed athletic gear and some bras. I was wearing my mom's hand-me-downs because I just didn't feel well enough to go to the store. And then I got a pair of jeans. I've actually gained 10 pounds solid in the last few months and that is amazing. Now I'm at a good weight. so. I Definitely needed some new jeans. This was on sale for five dollars and I just liked it. They're the same dress, just they're both really soft and flowy. <laughs> it's a little shopping haul for y'all. So it's not like the first time I've been shopping in the last few years, but I shop very seldomly and when I do go, it's to get <laughs> the necessities and Today, I was actually super happy because I had the energy to try on the clothes and I tr I went through things so much faster. I didn't even really think about that actually. It used to take me so much longer and I didn't have visual um, and other neurological things going on until the very end of the shopping trip. So I, I told my mom we were there about an hour and I told her, I was like, Probably got about half an hour left and then I'm definitely going to need to go. And I had just enough time. I was just pushing it through the fitting room at the end. Just like, okay, I'm just trying these last few things. It's not worth it to go home and go back to the store. So by the time I got out of there, I was having some uh, neuropathy stuff going on. And the vision stuff was like, whoa, just way too much going on. And then... Although my skin did not break out, that has not happened since I've done the um, dynamic neuro training system. I worked on uh, smell sense with that and then it's just kept improving. But it does still seem to overburden me when there's a ton of candles in the store and perfume and the smell in the bathroom you know all the different stuff people walking by with perfumes and stuff like that so it was getting to me at the end however i got way farther than i have before that so last week was a, a down week it was um the full moon really got me and i ended up just taking it easier and just allowing myself to heal and have those days where I just know it's going to be a day where I lay around a lot and I sleep a lot. I take two naps and sleep 13, 14 hours, you know, at night. 
it just happens and some of those days I was like extremely hungry as well after the full moon passed I had also TMI for the guys again gotten my period and that's gone now so all that stuff cleared up and my symptoms cleared up this week has been really good I am very happy to report that <laughs> so I was able to go out with my family and just get normal stuff done. I went through my old bedroom and got rid of stuff in there, went through, got rid of clothes and just random knickknacks that I had around. I would not have had the energy to do any of that. And I know there were a few other things I've done. I mean, just getting out on the bike alone is huge because that I would not have done. And I've still been doing yoga every day too, even if it's just five or 10 minutes. I'm still doing it every single day. And that's what I feel is important and what I want to keep up for myself. I also noticed I'm like a week ahead of where I'm actually at because this is actually week five, even though this is vlog week six. I think it's because I started posting vlogs halfway through my two week treatment. So that's why I like, I'm a week ahead. This is my fifth week post stem cells <laughs> so uh, I hope you guys are all having a great week and I will catch up with you guys in week seven post stem cell week six <laughs> bye